Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the White Album 2 Mini After Story. We are currently reading through Setsuna's ending, and we are on chapter 4 out of 4. So, from last week, Setsuna and Haruki are working on packing all their things and moving into a new place of their own. And Christmas Eve came and went, with Haruki breaking a promise to Setsuna about being home by 10, but it didn't matter because she was stuck at work anyway. Then their friends, Takea, Io, and Tomo, came and visited, and they were drinking and just spending time having fun and discussing their plans for the future. So, let's continue on with chapter four. Are we done? We're done, right? Yeah. We did it! We did it, Haruki-kun! Ah. I told you, didn't I? I knew that we could do it if we tried. <laughs> The time was 6 a.m. The sky outside was just beginning to grow lighter. What is with White Album 2 and just glorifying not sleeping? Like, throughout the entire game and now the after story, they're like, oh, well, they got everything done. Good for them. They didn't sleep. Good for them. Very, very, very unhealthy. There in the early morning, when the only sound was that of the newspaper deliverer's bike, Setsuna's joyous shouts rang out, as though she had played through a whole song with no mistakes. Even though all we had done was finish packing for the move. Now we can leave the rest to the contractor. And the contractor will be here in three hours. Honestly. Jeez, how much packing do they really have to do? I mean, realistically, it's just a tiny apartment. You'd think you could do that in a day. It really was a remarkable accomplishment, though. On the Monday before the move, knowing we weren't going to have any days off until then, we both sighed and said, this isn't going to be possible. Then on Wednesday, trouble kept us both at work, and on Thursday, that hot pot party descended upon us, which put us two days' worth of packing behind. Well, as a result of that, here we were at this hour, I suppose. What now? Should we sleep until the contractor gets here? Do you want breakfast? A bath? Or me? Setsuna. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pretend you didn't hear that. Gosh, what a weird mood to be in right now. <laughs> of course, I had been on the verge of choosing that last option without thinking about it. So clearly, like Setsuna, I was in a pretty wild mood. <laughs> what, a, what a pair of lovebirds. It's good that they're still getting along after being married for so long. I'm not sure it would be good to fall asleep now, though. There's no way I'd be able to wake up at nine. You're probably right. Right now, if we didn't keep chattering like this, we wouldn't be able to keep our eyes open or stay conscious. At this point, it felt as though an entire week's worth of exhaustion, not just today's, were all blowing in at once. At this rate, even given a weekend to spend after moving into the new place, we would probably just collapse without unpacking anything. Until Monday morning. Moving is stressful. It takes a ton of energy, even if you don't wait until the last moment. So yeah, for sure. In which case, our first real opportunity to unpack would fall within the first three days of the new year. The worst possible situation. Well, we were probably doomed to that already. Really though, what should we do? Eating or taking a bath right now would be dangerous. Yeah, you know that feeling if you eat a really good meal and then you get super sleepy? Hey, Setsuna? Hmm? Well, why don't we go for a walk or something? Let's go. Hey, no, don't say yes right away. Spend some time wavering and thinking about it. I'm confident that was a pretty weird suggestion. As I just said, the two of us had reached the limits of our stamina. No, it's all right. If you hadn't brought it up, Haruki-kun, I think I would have said the same thing myself. That's so. Yep. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. You're too tired, you don't want to fall asleep. Go take a walk in the cold. And yet, Setsuna, without a moment's hesitation, agreed to my eccentric idea. It's cold! 
yeah, this is probably the coldest part of the day. The moment right before dawn, a freezing chill ruled the world beneath the cloudless sky. The streets of Minami Suetsugu were faintly white, standing out as though to announce the beginning of another day. Oh, I'm so cold, Haruki-kun. I know that. I know that. I can't control the weather, Jackie. <laughs> no, come on. Obviously, you should be like, I'm sorry, here, do you want my jacket? You want my hand? Setsuna grabbed my hand, perfectly naturally. Her hand, with its, as she put it, slightly low blood pressure, felt quite a bit colder than mine. But by the time we finished our walk, it would probably warm up to the temperature of my hand. Today, we were leaving this familiar apartment, the one we had lived in since college, and moving to a two-bedroom apartment five train stops away. And probably, once we had moved, these frequent visits to Minami Suetsugu, and the time we spent taking in this scenery would also dwindle away. So I wanted to etch it into my mind, so that I could call the memory back up at any time, immediately. That's true, and <clears throat> that's something we don't think about all that much. When you move to a new place, you're not just leaving behind the apartment. You're leaving behind walking by the same corner store every day, the beautiful tree across the street that you like to look at, you know, things like that. They're small, but it's part of our everyday lives. So it's good that they get to say goodbye right now. <sighs> I'm finally wide awake. The barely risen morning sun reflected off the surface of the river, carrying dazzling light beyond our eyelids. The exhaustion from walking piled up on the exhaustion from staying up all night, and my body regained just a bit of energy. I'm getting kind of nostalgic walking around here. We just started walking. We were only a 10 minute stroll from our apartment building. On top of that, where Setsuna was concerned, for the seven years of high school and college, she had walked this road practically every day. I never use it for getting to work. It's on the opposite side from Minami Suetsugu. Ah, uh, I guess so. Being this close, if we didn't try to get closer, if we didn't try to look, then we would never lay eyes on it, nor fix it in our hearts. So it was necessary to look for ourselves to touch. No. Let's set aside the question of what that was referring to. No, let's talk about what it was referring to. If they didn't actively try to be together, they wouldn't. And this was a simple example of, oh, well, I go the opposite direction. And that's kind of how it was all throughout most of their university life. If they didn't actively try to connect, and even when they did actively try to connect, it was still so difficult. When we were in high school, we walked along this road together a few times. Yeah. Although, it was in our third year, after starting the half year left before graduation, which made it a pretty short interval. Even so, for that brief half year, we walked side by side down this road any number of times. Keeping an awkward distance at first, soon growing close enough that our shoulders touched, and at last, holding hands, the way we were now. And, at the moment of graduation, I fled this road. Even though I was attending the same university, right next door. Once we've moved, maybe this place will feel even more nostalgic than it already does. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. We'll be 15 minutes away by car and a taxi ride won't even cost 5,000 yen. What do you mean won't even cost? 5,000 yen, that's like 50 bucks. That's a lot. That's not something you'll be like on a Tuesday. Oh, let's go see my old place. Like, really? Oh, you. Why do you have to be so blunt? You don't have any sentimental. You don't have any sentimental, Haruki-kun. What does that even mean? You don't have any sentimental. Should be like sentimentality or you're not sentimental. One of the two. This sentence doesn't make sense. And after saying all of that, that still doesn't mean you're going to visit your family any less often, does it? I 
don't know what you're talking about. Setsuna, you love your family's house. You still go back two or three times a month to have dinner. I mean, yeah, that's fair. If you're a tight-knit family, you're going to do that. When you put it that way, it sounds like I'm not independent from my parents. I don't see any real difference. Well, maybe you're right. And so, as we exchanged this conversation of little importance, I took in this riverside scenery and slowly submerged it into the depths of my memory. The morning sun, sparkling on the surface of the water, the ice needles crunching under our feet with every step we took, my many memories with Setsuna, and just a few others. Ooh, I don't know what he means by that, but, um... Not... I mean, you can't help but think about the past and other people, especially being in this same area, but not great to think about right now. Come to think of it, Setsuna? Huh? What? Sentimental is an adjective. So saying someone doesn't have any sentimental is incorrect usage. Ugh. Typical quibbering chairman. Okay, I'm really, really glad they said that. I'm so glad he fixed that. <laughs> I was like, how is this a thing? This is so bad. Okay, it was Setsuna's fault. Another five minutes walk from the riverside. We reached the front of Suetsugu Station. So, we had walked one station's worth of distance. The environment of this small station early in the morning, at this, at the end of the year, with nobody around, completely silent, gave me the same feeling as a few years before. That is a lot of commas. Those are a lot of inner thoughts in the same sentence. This place hasn't changed at all, has it? I guess. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who was feeling the same impression from long ago. I wonder whether that shop manager is still there? I'm sure the older ladies who are working part-time must have changed. Setsuna worked at the supermarket in front of this station for two years, up until the last half year before graduation. When Setsuna chose to walk along the Riverside Road with me, she gave up this workplace in exchange which I still don't understand why she had to do. She could have still worked part-time. Haruki-kun, you already knew that I was working here, didn't you? Yeah. Since a year before I spoke to the braided, glasses-wearing Setsuna, I knew that she was here, secretly working this part-time job. I love glasses-wearing braided Setsuna. That's my favorite version of Setsuna. She was so pretty and kind of dorky looking, and really sweet. Just like the girls next door kind of girl. Well, I didn't know about her ridiculous reason to protect the mistaken image that I've attached to myself. You were watching me the whole time, weren't you? No, it wasn't quite to that point back then. Only you would be able to look me straight in the face and say something like that, Haruki-kun. You really are blunt. Setsuna picked up her pace just slightly to leave me behind, looking peevish. I mean, in our second year, you were the famed school idol, Setsuna. I never even dreamed that you would have any contact with me. And yet here you are. That's right. Second year Setsuna was the flawless idol of our school. She was so popular and wrapped up in so much uproar that it turned into a massive controversy when she withdrew from the Miss Hojo race that year. Now, if you were to ask me why I knew of this secret state of affairs, well, maybe in this particular matter, it would be better for me to take it to my grave. In any case, if I were to bring it up now, it was inevitable that she would get irrationally angry at me. Why didn't you tell me at the time? And anyway... There was no need to bring strife into Setsuna's current friendship with the culprit. Be thankful, Yanagihara. So this is an interesting little tidbit that wasn't in the original game. So back during the introductory chapter time, Yanagihara had actually seen Haruki and Kazusa together at the konbini at like midnight, and he was buying underwear because he forgot his change of clothes. And she threatened him. She was like, 
if you don't make Setsuna drop out of the contest, then I'm going to tell the school. And it was this big thing, and she didn't end up doing it, and Takea got involved. But you only read that from the novels, actually. The White Album 2 novels, they added it in as a mini scene. So that's kind of interesting. And also, if you haven't read the novels, super recommend them. They have a bunch of extra scenes that are very, very good. I really was stupid for falling for someone like you back then, Haruki. It was a lot of trouble that I could have done without. Well, feel free to curse your own tastes then. And who would have thought that there were two girls with such bad taste in the same school year, hmm? Hey. Now that we had reached this far back in our recollections, it was inevitable that a number of memories that weren't just with Setsuna would be lurking about. This is the kind of thing I don't think should be brought up. I don't think it's really healthy to be fixated on the past like this, like Setsuna kind of is. I'm not saying you can never talk about it, but maybe you shouldn't be bringing it up casually like this either. Even now, I really can't comprehend how you got to be that popular back then, Haruki-kun. Not just with me, but with a gorgeous girl like her. Stop deprecating yourself so transparently. I know that in the bottom of your heart, you consider yourself the winner. But between the two of us as we were now, the atmosphere was such that it didn't matter whether we talked about those memories or kept them secret. We were both past the point of feeling jealousy over such things or being shaken by them at all. That's amazing, honestly. The fact that they've been able to get to this point is a little bit surprising and super, super good of them. And anyway, I am still the former Miss Hojo, even if I've aged a little. You didn't even enter while we were in college. If I wanted to, I could have gone for the championship at any time. Would you say the same thing to Yanagihara? The two of us had overcome trials that were several times greater than most would meet before getting married. That was why, now that we'd come this far, we weren't about to make any decisions that led to breaking down or splitting up, because we knew exactly how immensely we would regret it. So, this is the longest chapter of the after story. We are going to stop off there for today. So, thank you so much for being here with me on Setsuna's chapter of the mini after story, and we will be back with the finale shortly. So until then, I hope you take care. See you.